Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. No, it's been a while, so I thought I would entertain you with a wonderful POV. And this week I am going out with this wonderful Canon Nifty 50, which is on a 1.8 aperture and sort of like going around town and shooting with this fantastic little lens. Now, it's no secret that I've got a bit of a love affair with this lens, like most photographers do. And to shoot with a prime lens, it gives its own sort of challenges. So let's head out into the streets and let's uh, start shooting with one of the most popular lenses out there. Come on, let's, uh, let's go. Good afternoon and welcome back to another POV. So I am out back in London as always and I've got my Canon 80D with the 50mm 1.4, 1.8, 50mm 1.8, the old nifty 50 and yeah we're just going to take some shots moving around. So we're right by the Ritz Hotel at the moment so there's a beautiful famous little lights there sort of clipping on the top. So. Yeah, we're just going to move away from the noise a little bit. Come down this alleyway, because this is usually quite a nice little shot as well. Yeah, that's pretty good. We've got Put some lights up there, shall we? Good. Right, it's very busy today. It is a Saturday afternoon. So we're going to try to find as as much really cool shots, I guess. It's the, the one thing we're definitely out here for. We're also going to see if we can find some nice little quiet areas where we can take some shots as well. So yeah, so it's a bottle of Ritz at the moment. Piccadilly is just down here. So Piccadilly is this way, and Hyde Park is just off down this way somewhere. I think we might walk into into Mayfair. Actually, I've not really shot in Mayfair before, so that's the uh, bit of plan here. But I'm going to come across this road here and get some, some nice shots of the of the lights of the Ritz Hotel. So that's the plan for this one. Pretty cool. Might get this one with a cab in as well. Yeah, fast. Mm -hmm. like him quite central actually, that'd be quite nice. Right, so yeah, so let's uh, let's end the Mayfair and see what we can what we can find. Right, so here we go. So we got a nice shot of a London post box there. Look, so we might see if we can just get that by itself. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let me go green. It is going to go red. So I might see if I can actually get a shot of the front of the cab and the post box behind it. I'll bring my aperture up a little bit so I can get both of them in. The shirt speed up slightly. Not too bad. Not too bad. So I'm going to walk into Barley Square. Now, one of the reasons why I quite enjoy doing street photography with, with, with the uh, 50mm lens is I like zoom lenses. Climb lenses really make you think. You know, you might see sort of something out on the street, you know, oh, that looks pretty good. But because you're sort of limited to the focal length of your prime lens, you sort of have to think a little bit outside the box about your overall shot. So you just take a little bit more time, take a little bit more effort to get that nice little shot in. So it just sort of like challenges you a little bit, which is which is good as a photographer, I guess. It's something that you, uh, you definitely want to do. One of the things that I might try to do while I'm out today as well is that I might see if I can get a little bit of car photography. It's one of the reasons why I've come into Mayfair. There's usually some really nice cars driving about. It's quite a, a wealthy stop in London. But I'm not really that practiced on car photography, so it be a nice little uh, bit of practice for me overall. So yeah, so it's something that my son would definitely like as well because he's mad about his cars. So yeah, so let's have a bit more of a walk in and see what's about, shall we? 
Right, so as soon as I say that, I can literally come across the road and we've got the Ferrari showroom just here. It's got some lovely cars here. So I'm gonna see if I can shoot a few through the window. It also gives you like a nice double exposure type thing as well, because you get the reflection off the window as well. You'd be sort of like be able to pull some of that out, but as you can sort of see on screen, now I'm sort of like, my vocal length is very, very sharp and very, very sort of like narrow. So to get a good shot in, we really got to sort of like try to plan where you want to shoot. They're quite nice. Oh, all of that, look, literally right next door to that, you've got the Bentleys as well, look. I'm just shooting through the window at the moment, so. Don't really feel that they can have a go at me for doing this. Potential nice car photography. interesting to see if they'll let me go in and actually take photographs of them, but I doubt it. <laughs> this is what I mean right here, like you see, you got this sort of pungent green. See when I look at the badge, Lamborghini look. Ah. Well, Lamborghini's so lavish with their colors. It's usually a bit of a... So, see, because because I've got a 50 mil, I can't zoom out. So I need to cross the road and have a bit more of a think about my framing. Well, that's nice, that. Uh. Very nice. Now don't worry, this isn't going to turn into a practice car photography video. So like I said to you, I'm not, not actually that good at car photography. Some of those wheels in look. That's better. Very nice. Well then. It's a nice pub up here, actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to take some photographs of that pub. Coaching the horses. So here's that pub, just across the road. Bring the aperture down to four. There we go. Just the shutter speed as it needs. Come down a bit. Ugh. See them get like a nice clean shot with nothing in it. Easier said than done, of course. That's it. Three, two, one, and go. Whoa, a bit blown out on that one. Come around to the other side. Now I'm going to try to keep my ISO down to 100 for most of these photographs because it is quite a nice sunny day. So I'm not going to be playing my ISO, so I'm just going to be playing about the f-stop and shutter speed mainly. To get the exposure right. A bit like that. So yeah, I'm gonna keep the uh, the ISO down as low as possible. If I get into the dark little areas, like any tunnels or sort of underneath any of the buildings, I might bring the ISO up a little bit. So I don't have to mess around the shutter speed too much. But yeah, I'm gonna keep the ISO down as much as possible. Now, if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I love a good sort of alleyway type of shot where you can sort of like get people dead center into one of these little things. Now I've seen a couple of these already walking up in this direction. But like I said before, because of the 50 mil, I'm so limited into my sort of focal range. I'm actually quite a fair way as you can see from it and as you'll see from the photos in a minute, hopefully, you'll see just how 
to like tight the photographs out of themselves. We're in the shutter quite high to see if I can catch them in. So you like this, I'm gonna bring the ISO up a little bit now as well to about 320. There we are. I'm gonna to try to get like a nice clean shot. So I'm gonna wait for this car to go. I'm gonna to try to get like a nice clean shot in the center there with somebody sort of walking in the middle. So here we go. Oh, oh, there we go. If I can, I'm gonna to try to just get the one person. This usually takes a couple of trial and errors. Am I focused? Nah, it's not too bad. Right, we're going to move on from here because I think I've got a couple in there which sort of work. But yeah, I do love trying to get sort of like those like sort of centered shots in things like this. So yeah, that one's in the bag. Nice. Well, you've got this wonderful floral arrangement just outside Fenwich, just here. Now, unfortunately, there is a horrible looking traffic light just sort of stuck in the middle. So I'm going to try to see if I can get like a half and shoulder anyway. There's not much I can do about that traffic light. Not really. Well, that's quite nice. Might be able to bring out some colours. Bring it down slightly. Yeah. <laughs> Take a walk down here now. I don't venture out to Mayfair often because I can't afford to buy anything. So I don't, I don't come down here. This is not my sort of manner, so to speak. You know, at the end of the day, a lot of these things will probably cost me like a month's rent or something. Right, so I've actually been waiting for somebody to walk down this sort of like little pass just here. Because I think the, the silhouette will look absolutely sensational as they walk down it. Uh, I think I've just got one already. I might throw that off on the screen because I'm walking around here like I'm a sort of like a nutter. Probably screen's gone completely black now as I walk through it myself. I can see if I can get somebody on the other side. But many people seem to be wanting to walk around it rather than walk underneath it. It's a bit disappointing. So it's just a yeah. case of hanging out, waiting for the shot. You want to try to get, here we go. Probably too many people in there. It's just typical to wait around for one person to walk through and I'll get five. Ah. Well, I think I got it just before I turned the camera on. So I might have to sort of just use that as the sort of the go-to picture for this one. Let's have a quick little look at it, shall we? I'm not happy with that. I'm going to wait around for another five or ten minutes to see if I can get it. So I've just made it up here where some of these buses are sort of parked up. I quite like this. So sort of like, focus on the middle bus. Really sort of get down to a spring, spring the f-stop all the way down. It's about there. He's about to move on me, so let's see if we can get this in quickly. That's all right. Doesn't look too bad. Now I've just walked past Oxford Street, so I've gone from Mayfair to the other side of Oxford Street now. There's this little sort of like fun fair type of thing in the park here, so I might see if I can go in here and see what's about in here but I did finally get that shot the shot that I was talking to you about in the last clip I did eventually get it it took me a while I was probably there for about 10 minutes I've taken about 15 duds which look absolutely shocking but I think I got the shot that I wanted in the end so let me throw that up the screen now so you have a quick little look at that and then uh, I'm gonna walk into this park see if we're allowed to sort of take any photographs in here or if it's private or not guess we're about to find out right so that park i was walking towards was actually free to get in but i wasn't allowed to take any sort of commercial photographs so there was no point in me going in it looked all right it looked like just like an open bar area so i've come around to oxford circus now i'm going to try to see if i can get some nice nice shots of these underground entrances because they're usually quite sweet 
So we saw sort of one just come into here. So yeah, we're doing a nice little walk today. Yeah, some nice little ones as well as well. So, like I said, it's quite busy. It's got a fair few people knocking around. That's a nice one. I like that. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, so I might go around the noise and then cut into sort of just be uh, just behind here. He lives forever. Oh, I've got to get run over. <laughs> that wasn't too shaky for you, but yeah, I'm going to walk behind these buildings, away from the crowds. And uh, what's that class? Soho. I'm going to walk into Soho a little bit. That would be pretty cool, and then I might end, end the video there somewhere. So, yeah, let's uh, see if we can get a couple more in, and then we'll go from there. Well, this is quite interesting. I remember growing up in and around London. When I was a kid, this entire little alleyway was so seedy. Like, you had sort of like porno shops and peep shows and all sorts of things up here. Looks like there's just a one left. It's all right. Let's see if we get it all with the uh, neons in. Just like that. But it was, it used to be so sort of full. Like all, every single one of these shops had a sort of like a, a dark sort of idea to itself. Now it looks like it's uh, gone up a grade a little bit. But it were, that was sort of like so many sort of like those little neck curtains you sort of had to walk through. You know, for those of you who remember growing up with video stores, there used to be that sort of like little room at the back where you could sort of like slip through. Yeah, and this uh, this little area used to be sort of full of that type of thing. Doesn't seem to be much more now as we come into the sort of theatre district a little bit. So we're gonna bring all that down a little look down the street here look that's nice I might bring up my f-stop a little bit get a bit more in focus bring up to 5.6 bring the shutter speed down to about 400 Let's use these sort of weights here look to give us a bit of a lead and line into it that's nice, but well, I'll tell you what, I might end the video there. I hope you've enjoyed it, and let's bosh back to the studio so we can say all the, the positive things about a wonderful walk. Well, thank you very much for watching. See you back at the studio. Right then, guys, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you uh, enjoyed some of the photographs, if not all of the photographs. I had a lot of fun sort of walking around, which is one of the, my most favorite things to do is just sort of walk around and take photographs and hopefully one day I might hook up with some of you guys out there if you are ever out and about or if you do follow me on Instagram please sort of like hit me up in a message or have a look at my stories because I do announce as and when I go out into the city it would be nice to hook up with some of you guys out there I know a lot of photographers are starting to do it some of the big ones of the UK like Optical Wonder and Sam do a lot of them so hopefully I'm going to sort of join some of you guys out doing then but in the meantime all of the photographs in this video were edited with my presets. They are for free over on my website, so hit them up down there. And if I did use a preset, I would actually save the settings and turn it into a new preset. And I upload them on my website as and when I can. And I'm offering them you for free because quite frankly, I'm not famous enough for you to want to buy them. So I'm giving them away. So there we go, simple as that. Websites, Instagram, everything's down there. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. It would mean so much to me and we are slowly growing. So guys, thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.